All right. Can this little piece of ultra suede uh, webbing and Velcro really make your off-roading sandals more off-roady? Stick around and find out. Hello, my name is Nick. I am into minimal running, barefoot running, and Rache style sandal running. And I'm trying to make these videos to help people make a better purchase and decision for themselves for finding their next adventure sandals. If you're interested in that kind of content, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification for more videos. Now let's get into it. So these are the power straps from Shama. These are a 15 inch long piece of ultra suede, a little bit of webbing here, some Velcro. When folded in half along that seam, they're basically eight and a half inches. They weigh 0.4 ounces or 12 grams. And these go on top of your Shama. So the warrior style, not their trail stars, um, these go on those. And the goal is just to add some stability to your sandals. Now, when I first purchased a pair of Shama Warriors, I did see these. I thought it was a little bit of a gimmick, I'll be honest. Um, going on the Barefoot Reddit page and you know reading Bear Born to Run, the idea of having less to run was great. So the idea of buying accessories seemed a little silly at the time. Josh from Shama made a comment on a video about having the power straps and how he preferred, and I've seen him make some content on Instagram and stuff like that where he's like, oh yeah, I definitely use the power straps and go running with them. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll give him a shot. And I am happy to report that he wasn't wrong. These power straps, as simple as they are, provide a lot of stability on your runs and especially with the lateral movement. So if there's areas for um, going up on large rocks or technical terrain, having these on does make a huge difference. I noticed too on some of my runs that were, you know, some wet leaves and things like that, I felt like more secure and going around turns and things like that, I could lean harder into turns as well with running. So it makes a big difference to the point where I almost don't like running without them, which says a lot. So I definitely prefer having them on. So a little bit about the specs on these, um, and then we'll get into the pros and cons and so on. So this is Shama's Ultra Suede. It's soft. It holds up really well in all kinds of conditions, wet, um, dry, muddy. I haven't had any issues with chafing or hot spots, that kind of thing. The stitching is flush. Um, no areas that are irritating to the skin on your feet. There's just a little bit of the webbing right here, and that's just the whole hold them down. A little bit of webbing here, and that hasn't been an issue with hot spots or feeling it, anything like that. The Velcro on here is held up really great. It's a little bit dirty right now just from the last run I had with these. Um, definitely got really muddy, but they held up really well. So that's really all there is to it. Pros, they're super lightweight, and for how lightweight and little they are, it's almost a no-brainer to add them to your sandals just for that extra security. And for cons, the only one I can think of, at least how tight I like to make these, is that they need to be undone and re redone, so un unvelcroed and velcroed down for putting my foot in and out. Um, I can slide my feet out, but not in when I have them on the sandals. So that is a very minor complaint, almost not an issue at all for how much uh, stability you get from these. So who are these for? I think these are for someone that is already running in sandals and maybe you're at the point where you want to go faster or maybe you're at the point where you have more technical terrain and you're more comfortable running in sandals and you just want that next step. These would be a great way to do that and you can keep using the sandals you have. If you're someone that's already tried sandals and running in them hiking, you're like, I don't feel secure at all in these. These might be the answer just to add that little bit extra support and confidence to get on more technical sections.
so would I recommend them? Absolutely. If you're getting the Shamas, the Warriors, you might as well add them <laughs> to your cart if you can afford it. Uh, I would definitely recommend them. So with that, just a short video today. And thank you for watching. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe down below. And I'm curious, have you tried the power straps? And if so, do you like them? Do you not like them? And why? Uh, I'm hoping to do some comparison videos in the future. Shama Warrior Maximus and the Earth Runners or the leather footbeds versus Ultra Grip versus Canvas, that kind of thing. Um, so if you're interested in that, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and we'll see you in the next one.